Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. I am super excited today and it's a little bit sentimental today of this episode. Please do click subscribe if you're just getting on the Drone Camps channel as a new viewer. If you're just interested in learning to fly, this is the channel because we get tons of new stuff each week. We can do several videos a week showcasing different drones uh, from companies around the world. So today, we have a special guest in the house. We have something from Air Hogs, and Air Hogs is what got me back into flying helis almost 10 years ago. And I moved up from flying one of their little tiny ones to flying the big 700 class size helis. And then I eventually got into multi rotors and flying drones. But today it's all about the Air Hogs Helix Sentinel. And this is an all in one kit. It comes with this really nice, awesome, durable case. It comes with VR goggles, a transmitter that you can hook up to your smartphone or your tablet, and it has Wi-Fi on board. You can see the video in real time coming from your phone. Start out with that as your monitor, and then move up to what we use for VR racing, quad racing, we use goggles. And they included some goggles on here that you can slide your phone into. I can get my iPhone 6 Plus in there and watch that 720p real time feed. So it looks like you're sitting in the cockpit. So let's go outside now, let's do a little flight test and then we'll come back inside and I'll show you what's included with the Sentinel. Okay guys, the Helix Sentinel battery is all charged up from the USB cable and now I can open up my phone. I've turned on my transmitter and the drone. So the drone is sending a Wi-Fi signal over to my iPhone. And what I'm gonna do is open up my settings on my phone. I'm gonna go over to Wi-Fi. And what you wanna select here is you wanna select Helix Sentinel on your phone in the Wi-Fi settings. You don't have to enter in any password. Go back out, go to the Helix Sentinel app, and now you can go ahead and you can choose to fly here or you can watch other videos in the community. So this is actually pretty neat because you can upload your videos and share with other people and see what other people are capturing with their Sentinel. Very, very cool. So I'll go ahead and choose fly here and it's gonna connect to the Wi-Fi. So everything is good there. We're going to use the full screen view here, or you can choose to use your goggles on the right. So I'll go ahead and choose full screen. That's what we're going to do here with the phone. And now I can see the real time view here. It also shows me other telemetry uh, on here, like video. You can record the actual screen here on your phone. That's a cool option. And it shows you your battery life. You also have additional settings up inside here for your uh, username, which I'm already logged in, the video settings. HD at 30 frames per second, which is also really nice. You have a contact support in there, tutorial videos, where to buy these, uh, format the SD card, which I'll go ahead and do just in case we wanna make sure that the video does record. So I'd suggest doing that before you do your first flight. Even if you just got micro SD card with yours, which it should come with, now it says we have a check here, which means we're good to record video. So if you have a little error there, make sure you format yours or the video won't record to your, your phone here uh, or to the micro SD card. So now I'm clear to take off. There's no one around. So we'll go ahead and put the GoPro on my hat. We'll do some flying. Okay, there's a couple ways you can get off the ground. You can do it with the transmitter stick, this is the throttle stick on the left and your control stick forward, right, backwards and left. Uh, and on the very bottom here you have two different buttons here. This is your takeoff button and your land button. We can do this auto takeoff button. And I didn't have to do anything with the throttle, it just came up on its own and started flying. So pretty cool. Now you can fly this one indoors or outdoors. That's probably the neatest thing about this little quadcopter is if you live in an area where there's a lot of snow outside and it's really, really cold for your hands, you can actually fly this one indoors, no big deal. You're not gonna hurt anybody with this little quad. It's very, very lightweight. It has that little foam protector around the edge, on the outside, which is also removable. So when you're outdoors and you wanna fly a little faster, all you have to do is pop that little foam protector off there then you have a much faster Sentinel. So very, very cool. You can see it's just kind of hanging out there in one spot. It does not have GPS on it, but it does have obstacle avoidance on the bottom. So if you get too close to an object, it's gonna back away from that object. Probably the cheapest version of obstacle avoidance out there on the drone market right now, which is kind of cool. 
You can see that little black box on the very bottom of it. I'll walk a little closer to it here. And it's actually pretty quiet. You have red props on the front and black in the rear. So you can tell which way your drone is facing. And I'll go ahead and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start recording the video. So we're going to record the screen here. Kind of leaning into the wind a little bit. There's a little wind coming in from my left. Now what this drone does when the battery runs out guys is it does drop to the ground. But never fear. It's a very, very lightweight drone. It's not going to hurt it. Unless you fall from uh, several hundred feet up maybe. So I did record a little bit of uh, video there. Now I'm flying a little further away. Now watch it slingshot downwind. Going to get to go really fast downwind. So think about that. Your wind direction is very important when you're flying quadcopters, guys. So I'm recording my screen again. I'll share that with you here on the video. And it really is pretty easy to see which direction it's facing, especially today since the sun is out so nice. It's a great day to fly. And you can practice your orientations. I won't give you a full beginner's lesson here, but there are other videos on our channel where you can see how to fly on your first day. I can go up a little higher here. And I'll come in a little closer. And it does seem to have altitude hold on here as well, so it has a self-centering stick. The throttle stick on the left hand side maintains its altitude, which is really neat. If you start to drift down, just bump it up a little bit and you'll come up. Let's try that auto land real quick. Let me back over to the sidewalk here again and we'll come in and do an auto landing. I'll try not to hit the uh, camera over here to my right. I'll come in a little closer. I'm just gonna hover over the sidewalk here. It might not be perfect, folks, but we're gonna give it a try. Here we go, we'll come down a little further. We'll hover, we'll push that auto land. All right, pretty sweet. It actually came down and landed and shut the props off, shut the motors off for us. So now we'll go ahead and remove this piece and we'll do that auto takeoff again. There we go, I just press the button on the left side of the controller. Gonna start recording some video again. Seems to be recording in short bursts. I might be able to change that for a longer video. And we'll, it'll save your recordings. Also, I uh, should save them straight to the phone if I record them that way. Now it's flying quite a bit faster. So this is a quadcopter that's going to be fine for younger people to get into flying drones. Dad, if you want to buy your kid a, a quad to start out with, this one is really nice for kids. Because it is really easy to fly. And it's kind of fun with this foam piece off. You can fly it indoors or outdoors. So on your outdoor days, make sure that you're flying it when there's not any winds. You don't want any winds outside when you're flying this one because it's very lightweight. Now let's let's test out that ob obstacle avoidance on the Sentinel. So I'm going to walk you over to this little tree over here. We're going to try out this obstacle avoidance near this tree. Let's walk over here a little closer and we'll try to fly toward the tree. We'll, it's a little infrared system and we'll see if it works right up against this tree. So I do have prop guards on here. But well, we're going to give this a shot and see what happens. You see that? It actually backed up and didn't hit the tree. It went right up against the tree, but it didn't hit it. So I'm going to record that as well so you can see that from the cockpit. I'm going straight toward the tree. Obstacle avoidance is on. And it hit it that time. So it's not going to be perfect, obstacle avoidance, guys. It has it from the front and both sides and the rear. It did do it the first time. We might be getting low on battery. Yeah, I think we're getting a little low on battery. Might try to do one more takeoff, you guys, and then we'll go into the studio. 
and we'll take a closer look at the drum body itself. So we lost video and it says return to the main menu. So our battery is definitely done for now. So the flight test part of the review is going to be over with. So let's go head into the studio and check this thing out a little closer up. All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test of the Air Hog Sentinel drone. That was a lot of fun, and thanks for hanging out with me during that flight test. What you're looking at here is the instruction manual that comes along inside the case for the Sentinel drone. And Air Hogs, if you don't know it, they're a huge company in the U.S. They are very, very large, and they have tons and tons of products out there. They also have customer support line, which is way different than what we've seen on some of the previous drones. They're really hard to get a hold of some of these people, uh, but not air hogs. They have North American 1-800 number. They have the UK, Ireland, and France on here. They also have an additional website Aside from airhogs.com, they have spinmaster.com, so there's plenty of tech support for the Airhog Sentinel if you need it. Very, very cool, and that's a huge value along with this drone. But the other value with this drone is the fact that it's around the $200 price point and you get all this stuff included with it way different than some of the other FPV racer type drones we've shown you in the past. Uh, you can buy goggles for them that will charge you uh, in anywhere... 200 to 500 dollars for a set of fat shark goggles so very expensive experience uh, however this includes everything for that price point of around 200 which is not bad you get a case along with it with two latches on the side here a carrying handle and it's an industrial plastic so very very durable to protect your air hog sentinel inside it also holds the transmitter inside and the goggles fit firmly inside there so if you're transporting it you're not going to break your drone which is really nice but let's go ahead and pull the sentinel out of the case now and show you a little closer look at the sentinel and i'll show you what's special about it here it is guys there's the air hog sentinel up close and personal you have your fpv camera underneath here it's tiltable you can change that up and down which is really nice there's a little micro sd card right behind the camera here you can see that pops in and out uh, it came with a four gigabyte card, by the way, and you want to format that before you use it for the first time in the app, like I showed you before. Uh, also have object avoidance on the bottom, and like I said, this is the most affordable object avoidance system that I've seen come out on a toy style drone anywhere. Um, and I've been looking at these drones for several years um, in the very beginnings of obstacle avoidance. So it's really interesting that we have infrared obstacle avoidance on all directions of the bottom of the Sentinel. Uh, you do also have landing gear on the bottom of each motor. They are brushed motors inside here, by the way. And you have red on the front and gray on the rear. So you can sort of see where the front of the drone is. That makes it really easy to see. Now on the top here, you have your receiver coming from your video transmission right there and you have your uh, receiver for the, the transmitter here. Now also you can take this foam surround off when you want to move up to the next level it's really easy to remove this. There's two tabs on each motor protector here so go ahead and pull that off. Very simple. Now it flies a lot faster like this. So you're gonna get a little more performance out of it. When you're ready to move up to the next level, it's not too hard to do that. So now you have a little bird's eye view of the Sentinel from above, and we're gonna show you a few things on the top of this. First is the on off switch, and that is pretty easy to turn on and off. You turn on the transmitter as well. You'll see that LED blinking here, and it'll go solid when you have a solid connection to the transmitter. Now, right behind that, you have the USB port, and that's for hooking up to your USB charger. That's what's going to charge the battery inside the Sentinel. Probably charges around a couple hours. Uh, it took me the first time I charged it up at least a couple hours to get a full charge, uh, and it'll blink while it's charging inside the shell here, and then when it's fully charged, it should show a solid red and then you're ready to go out and fly. Um, and like I probably, when I was flying mine, I probably got like a, it's like six to eight minute flight time. But really, if you come in and you land early, you'll take care of your battery and it'll actually last you a little longer. So don't fly it until it drops out of the air uh, with that low voltage protection. You wanna make sure that you take care of your battery. The longer you fly it, the harder it's gonna be on your battery. So take care of your battery, fly it a little less each flight time and that'll give it a longer battery life. It'll, it'll last you a lot longer. 
Now this is your transmitter that comes along with your Sentinel and it has a, quite a few features packed in here. You have throttle on the left and it has your horizontal rotation axis on this stick as well. So also called the yaw axis. On this side it has our roll right and left and our pitch forward and back. This for this stick. All the little red switches here you see, those are the trim tabs. So if it seems like it's drifting one direction or the other, you can press these trim tabs and sort of trim it out. Um, if it's drifting to the right, give it a little bit of left tab and that'll help it stay in the center a little better. Then you have a switch down bottom here. This little red switch is for your obstacle avoidance. If you're flying indoors, you can turn that on. If you want to uh, turn it off outdoors, it'll actually say on the app, it'll say outdoor or indoor at the very top of the screen when you move this switch. So that's also pretty cool. And these are a little hard to see here, but these light up green and they'll show you auto takeoff on this side and you can do an auto land on this side. So that's also pretty cool. And you have your power button there, which is also green. Now the transmitter holder, is actually pretty nice. Uh, it holds my iPhone 6S Plus very, very stable in here. You can move this up with a little button on the very side. If you click this once, push this little tab in, it pops out and it holds at least an 8 inch tablet in here. So these little tabs fold down and you can get quite a big tablet in here, Android or iOS. Now on the back of the transmitter you have a little red button here and if you take a pencil or a pen or something and you press that button it will unlock the battery door so you can go ahead and slide that down and reveal where we have our rechargeable nickel metal batteries in here. Uh, these are four AA batteries that are required for this transmitter. I'm going to show you some features in the app that I like and uh, like I said this is a Wi-Fi enabled drone so go ahead into your settings in your Wi-Fi and choose Helix Sentinel in there and uh, go out back to the Sentinel app itself and now we can check out a live view coming from the camera on the drone and uh, the battery is getting kind of low so I actually have it plugged into my laptop over here and uh, the transmitter is also on. You have several different features here in the app and I have to tell you I'm really impressed with the app mainly because they really did their homework here on including features and making this a useful app for the pilot uh, for, for someone flying this drone. Now a lot of times manufacturers will produce a drone and then their app is kind of uh, lacking in features and they usually it's a, the app is usually an afterthought but with this one it seems like they did their homework on the app so I'm pretty impressed with the features they have in it. Now right away you see this community tab and we can click on that and it'll actually bring you here and show you other people's videos coming from their Sentinel. So if you want to download uh, other videos here to, to watch that other people have recorded, you can do that. You can view their YouTube channel down here and you can upload and share with the community. So that's really kind of cool that you can do that. And you also see your other telemetry up here, your battery level and your Wi-Fi signal and also your home button that takes you back to the main screen. Now I can also download and share with other folks on my Facebook or my Twitter account or my Instagram or YouTube. I can click on fly here and see that real time view. So it's going to connect to the Wi-Fi here. Now I can choose either option. I can do my goggles or I can do the full screen view from the transmitter uh, on the monitor holder. So I'll choose that one. And now we're going to load the live stream. Hopefully it loads. The battery is too low. So we'll go ahead and continue there. But we see the live stream view anyway. And I can go ahead and go through these features for you. Uh, up at the very top you have that SD card and you can format that here inside the app as well. Which was really kind of cool. Um, remember I told you also indoor and outdoor settings on the transmitter. So if you look at the transmitter here. This little button right here is set to indoor. Now I'll switch that. And now you can see on the app it says outdoor. And I'll switch it again. And that's turning on and off your obstacle avoidance. Which is really cool. Over to the left hand side of the screen, I've got one phone paired up to it right now. It shows me a little icon of phones and devices right here. Now the cool thing about the Sentinel is that you can put 
other phones and other tablets on here in real time. So you can have actually two devices watching the live stream at once. So if you have a friend who wants to watch your pilot experience, your live view, you can do that. And that's really cool. So you can have two devices on here. That's super awesome. Uh, it also shows me that I have a little green check here. And that's the icon of the transmitter. So I do have a connection to the transmitter. At the very bottom over here, I have a little icon that lets me record my screen. And we're going to say, yes, record screen. We'll allow that. So now we can record the screen, the live view coming from the Sentinel drone. And there's not a ton of lag on here. It's actually pretty good real-time video. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, and I can press stop here and go back to the main screen. And now it's saved it to my phone. I can go ahead and press save here. And I can use that or upload it later if I want to. I can also take a snapshot there. Pretty easy. Now up at the top right, you see the little gear wheel? That's going to take you into the different settings in here. You can change your video settings. You can go from HD um, setting right now, and that's 30 frames per second. We can go to low. And we can go back up. VGA at 15 frames per second. 30 frames per second and HD low. We're going to set that on mid right there. We're going to leave it on mid. I'm also logged in on my account. So you have to log in and register your name and user and a password. You can also have other stuff uh, down here available. Like you have your manual here, tutorials, contact support, credits. You can format the SD card. You have your terms of service and also where to buy it. Um, so lots of features inside the gear area. Now check this out. You see that little red flashing up at the top of the screen? That's the object avoidance. It sees the laptop in front of it. So that is actually very, very cool. And it also sees something behind it as well because the foam uh, surround the guard is behind it. So if I move it, now let's see if it sees it to the right and left. That is pretty neat. Yep, right and left. Very cool. And these are the goggles that come along with the Airhog Sentinel. Very, very nice set of goggles, and mainly because they have two different available options. You can watch 3D movies on these from your smartphone, uh, sort of what we call VR movies right now. That's very, very popular, these virtual reality. They don't do 360 VR, but they do 3D, which is really cool. So you can either use these to watch movies on, um, you know, if you're a kid in the backseat of your car and your mom's driving and you want to watch a 3D movie on your smartphone, you can do that. So up to a six inch smartphone will fit inside here. My Apple uh, iPhone 6S Plus fits right inside there. So it's actually really cool. So the other option is that you can enjoy the real time view inside these uh, from your drone. And that's the point of these is that you can slide your phone inside here, line it up in the very the dead center of the screen and then close it up. And now, you see my phone there, and we'll see it from the front side here. You have two lenses, and this provides your 3D experience. Now, this is extra cool because it gives you that racer pilot feeling, and also it has adjustable lenses here, so if you need to adjust the view, if it's a little bit blurry for you, use these little dials on the side and move the screen in and out and give yourself a little better view. Now I selected the goggle view in here and you see that the screen is separate in two parts. Now that's because you're looking at a 3D image here and that's the way it loads up in your goggles. When you look at it through the goggles, you'll actually see one image after your eyes adjust. This is the neat thing about this drone. So you slide your phone right in here like that and you lock it shut. And now you can see inside here your 3D view. So we're looking at the real-time view inside the camera, and this is super cool because it feels like you're sitting right in the cockpit, and you can see all of your telemetry as well on the screen here as well, uh, the uh, battery level, and that you're in the indoor flight mode and all this good stuff on here. So very, very neat that this comes along with the drone. All right, guys, let's go ahead and summarize this and give it a star rating, and I'll give you my final opinion on what I think about the Sentinel drone, my honest, 
true opinion on this package. Uh, now what you get for this package is actually really decent because you have a lot of options, especially as a new person. You kind of get this all in one package. You get this awesome case along with it. You get a killer app. The app is absolutely awesome. Now it's not lacking in features, which I really like. I feel like it's a very well done app. It's polished and it's a finished app. It's not something that leaves me wanting more. A lot of drone manufacturers, like I said before, they create a nice drone and then they have kind of a crappy app, but not with the Sentinel. They did their homework with this one. It's really nice. Now, the next thing that I like about it is the fact that you can put this on your smartphone holder here on the transmitter. You can do the live view as a monitor first. And then when you get used to flying it, you can move up to the FPV section next and you can slide this inside the goggles and you can do a real time view like FPV racing and sort of train for that uh, as an upcoming addition to your learning experience. So this is really versatile package. You also get that super industrial case that I showed you earlier that houses all of this stuff. So this is a economically priced package um, and 4.5 stars is very fair for what you get here uh, especially for the price point and all the options that they include with it so i gotta give it two thumbs up i really like this package uh, and i would definitely buy this for someone new just getting into it uh, as a christmas gift or a birthday present this would really really make someone's day so super cool thanks again for watching the drone camps channel i'm justin davis i'll see you on the next one Hey guys, thanks again for watching that episode. Please do click subscribe so you can see all the newest drones coming out each week on the Drone Camps channel. We're going to show you tons of new stuff coming out in the drone industry. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. Thanks again. I'll see you on the next one.